Thank you. Uh, if you could just start by telling us what it is that you do now and how did your physical health <coughs> help you to arrive there? Of course, yeah. So, uh, I'm Matt Richardson. Um, I work for EDF uh, in the UK as the head of industrial safety uh, for the customers and corporate um, business unit. How my physics degree helped me? Well, it started my career, certainly. I got into the nuclear industry when I first left university, um, and my career path took me very much away from physics and on from there. But that was okay, because I've ended up where I am now. Would you have some pieces of, of some tips or advice for our students about anything you wish you had known during your time at university? Um, I suppose nothing really prepares you to be outside in the world of work. You know, being at university, uh, you're kind of institutionalized by the very nature of being here. Um, but, it, you know, there's uh, many things you can do to prepare yourself. You know, you can get work experience, uh, do placements, um, you can connect with different employers to understand what they're looking for when they, um, when you eventually do want to join the world of work. Um, so it's all really good experience, but I, I guess the overriding um, advice would be don't panic, like, there's no rush. Your career will last a lot longer than your physics degree mm -hmm. and there's plenty of opportunities to chop and change what you want to do and find your way through your career path. Um, as mine has, you know, it's taken me in directions I wasn't expecting, certainly with a physics degree, but that's okay and it's got me to where I am now. Thank you. So what things did you do then while at university? Did you go to careers events, careers fairs? Did you do an internship perhaps? Uh, no, none of that. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a few careers fairs. There was always something going on uh, like in the Portland building. Um, yeah. But I, I'd probably say I was on the lazy front when it came to uh, careers and knowing what to do next. Um, so it actually took me a year, so I came out of university, uh, it took a year to actually work out exactly what I wanted to do. Um, and uh, my career uh, really took off from signing up to graduate schemes. I think graduate schemes are a really good way to actually help uh, with a buffer between uh, leaving university and getting into the world of work. Um, so a graduate scheme will allow you a chance to understand what work is like, move around within a, a company such as you know quite a big company that I work for now. Uh, and really uh, start to help you understand what you're good at um, in the world of work and where your career could take you. Um, so I think that's really important to understand what um, graduate schemes are out there and, and try and get onto one if you can. Um, can you perhaps tell us, if you can recollect, how many jobs you were re rejected from or how many of your job applications were rejected? <laughs> Yeah, I can't count them all. The grad schemes, I think you, um, I think you just get sucked along applying for a lot of grad schemes uh, when you go for them. Um, and the two I really wanted, I got, so I was really pleased with that. But there were many that I didn't get, probably because I didn't, I wasn't as passionate about them and didn't fully understand, you know, what the company uh, was that I was going to work for. So that's really important. Do your research, understand the company, understand what it is you want to get out of working for that company and what you can bring to that company, your skills. Obviously, experience is difficult when you're just coming out of university, so you don't really have anything to put on your CV um, other than what you've been doing at university. Um, to be honest, the first uh, jobs I got refused from uh, were for bar work here in Nottingham during my um, first year out of university. So. <laughs> <laughs> that must be really discouraging if you felt you were not good enough for that. That's bar. right. I got one. Don't worry. That's fine. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you very much. And just probably just one more to wrap up. Um, now that you're in this job for quite a number of years, what skills do you think are critical for your job? And to what extent these skills were developed here at the university while studying physics degree? Yeah. So I think it's about um, understanding how you tackle a piece of work, um, the process you go through to actually um, understand what the requirement is for that piece of work and how you're going to take on that challenge. It doesn't necessarily have to be about physics. In fact, the fourth year of physics here really helps you understand that everything you do doesn't need to be specifically about physics. You know, there's modules there that actually open your eyes to just ways of conducting work and delivering a piece of work um, successfully. So think about that. It doesn't have to be um, specifically a research project or something like that, but um, the skills that you develop while you're at university give you that really good platform to understand how to take on a challenge in, in all walks of life. 
um, and I, I think that's really important. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks.